Welcome back everybody to the next part of this let's play of the Russian campaign on Medieval 2 Total War and hopefully this episode there won't be a massive battle against the Hungarians or if there is it's hopefully us besieging one of their cities because after that last battle we uh, have got a lot to retrain and actually uh, let's retrain that as well that turn so I really want to try and bring the fight to the Hungarians rather than on the defensive and I'm guessing the Polish army may attack um, next turn or on this end turn phase so I shall end the turn and we'll see what happens oh I just check oh I haven't moved this ship uh, I will just move this fleet quickly down to there okay let's end the turn and hope nothing bad happens okay so there's not much of a Polish army there and I did forget to move the other Russian army so let's hope too bad. Oh, there's some other loose or smaller armies there, but they shouldn't be too much of a problem. And they haven't attacked. Which I'm surprised at. I thought they would have assaulted the walls that turn. And the Mongolians, look how many armies the Mongolians have. They may not all be full stack, but it's just ridiculous. And this is taking a long time. <laughs> oh, I hope they're not going after that Turkish castle. I wanted that to myself. Oh, no. Right. Grand Duke has died. Oh, there's other things there. There's rioting Oslo, which I expected. And looks like a storm. Oh, it's not very good. Let's just get rid of that. New faction leader. Him. He just in Slamensk. Lots of things being built, which is excellent. We've got quite a bit of money. The Papal States are now at war with... How are the Papal States at war with the Mongols? Are they sent an army? I don't know. But um, unfortunately, look at that. That's a full stack Mongol army. And it's going to... I'm sure they're at war with the Turks. As are we. Uh, oh no. Mongols. They're not at war. Well, I'm sure they will be soon. Because it looks like they're going after that. Which is a real shame. I'll have to think about that after, I guess. Let's have a look on the front with Hungary. I think we destroyed their main army, so they probably won't have one for at least a few more turns that can stand up to us. So we'll uh, continue to retrain our units. Uh, let's do those three this turn. And where's our new army that we were sending towards Kiev, I think? We're building, yeah, a lot of infantry there, and then some units here, I think. I think we're safe to get rid of these peasants now. They're really just worthless there. Right. Oh! That's surprising. The uh, Polish army is broken. The siege. Ah, are they, are they at war with the Holy Roman Empire? If they are, that'd be great. No, they're allies. Why the hell they do that? I don't know, but that gives us a chance to uh, retrain troops. In fact, let's just merge everyone. Well, sometimes it doesn't work. I'll just I'll retrain then. We'll start retraining. Perhaps we can build something. Now, let's build some mines, actually, because um, that's actually quite a lot of money, so I will invest in that. Because it's actually... Is it always oh, amber mines or... No, silver mines, I think. I think gold mines are the best in this game. Right. Oh, maybe it didn't. There was a storm here, but it didn't actually notify me. Right, what's that? Portuguese army. It's pathetic. Um, they're still rioting, which I'm surprised about, considering. Uh, well, we, we can't actually retrain mercenary units, so it's just going to be that, I think. Um, I thought the rioting wouldn't last too long. Um. An inn would help, but just a larger garrison, so this army's going to be held up here. Unless, yes, I bring some more units from here as a garrison. Um, I could reduce the tax rate for one turn and send out some troops straight away. 
Um, let's send them out. Yeah, we can't put it to high tax rate really yet. Um, in the meantime, we shall build uh, Merchant's Wharf, I think. That Portuguese army is annoying me. So we'll just take out... Well, we can go back to the city afterwards. We'll just quickly auto-resolve that. That'll kill everyone. Hopefully the Portuguese won't return. That's 65%. So, uh, still very low. Um, could use my fleet to attack their ships, but I'm not going to. Oh, I'm a bit worried now about this Danish army. I'm sure they're going to attack. <laughs> Never ending, really. Right. So we moved that army. That's fine. Um, again, we're slowly retraining, which is going to take time. Um, still making a decent amount of money. Right, let's, I think we need a battle now. Although, God, there's an army there. But they won't reach this castle this turn, so I could probably get move some of these units out and head towards Seton straight away. Oh, it's got their faction leader in. Oh, we can't. We have to take this chance to kill their faction leader and take this castle. Oh, they have another castle there. Citadel with one unit. Oh, we have to um, take the initiative here, I think, guys. So, I will replace the garrison. Let's take out um, the woodsman and these dismounted guys. Uh, don't cavalry. Uh, and that they may we may get attacked by them but we'll have to fight them on the map but we'll see what they do and I will will retrain those two and recruit another unit to there which is good in fact there instead of retraining three each turn I'll retrain two and uh, recruit another one which is great keep taking out captains which increased his uh oh well he's already a 10 actually because he's quite old i want to try and actually uh, use him before he dies oh, they haven't got a leader there wondering uh where there might be a faction leader or just a general looks like they have no commanders nearby Oh, if only my army was closer by, I could actually send it out. That's a real shame, right? Hmm. How big are these armies? They're tiny units. No, probably you should wait until we get our general reaches Kiev. Which will be a few more turns still. That's annoying. Right. I'm guessing, yeah, we can't recruit a spy from here, but I will retrain those guys. Um, although I am interested what that Mongolian army will do, I'm actually going to send him back this way. I want to see what's going on in this city, whether there's any armies here that we'd be worried about. I'm now going to move my spy further south and see how far the Mongolians really have got. Because it looks like they've taken Jerusalem, they haven't taken... Is it Gaza yet? No, they haven't taken Gaza. Well, they might be, but we just haven't updated the map yet. Hmm. And again, we're already out of money. Well, we're not. We've got quite a bit of money, but I don't want to spend loads. Let's see if we can spend it on something that actually make money for us. Oh, they need up their walls upgrading. That's not going to make us money off the bat. I will upgrade that city actually to large stone walls because they need it. Um, Moscow. It's all really expensive things. What about this city? Ah, ah yes. Now this will definitely improve things, I believe. Oh, it's an increase in trade a little bit. Okay, we'll actually invest in the uh, mines. Extra hundred per turn, I think. Um, and I think apart from that, what about Bulga? Mm, I think we can increase tax rate a little bit now. Um, 
Let's get another unit of that and get rid of them. So that's quite expensive. Um, although that's 70%, it will improve. I will get two units actually, and that sh hopefully shouldn't riot. Uh, that castle's population is dropping for some reason. Can't really do much about that at the minute. <sighs> Just this Oslo situation. Um, hopefully, this unrest will go pretty quickly. Uh, let's recruit a priest to start converting the populace. Get this priest over here as well. Um, so yeah, I will end the turn again, and we'll see what happens. <coughs> but I really want to try and take a castle or city in this episode. It'd be really good. And the Polish haven't attacked me, which I'm quite surprised at. I thought they'd try and uh, assault right our army. Uh, yes, I'll accept that. Oh, mission failed. What was the mission? Blockade port. I could have done that actually. Oslo still rioting. Damn. And it ha it's got worse. Well, actually, I suppose our church has been damaged. Let's do that. We should be alright next turn. Retrain that and recruit another one. Should get a bit better next turn. Uh, let's get our guy there. They're going to there. Right, let's just go for all these. Novgorod's ready to upgrade again. So, <laughs> that's going to be expensive to upgrade the walls there, I think. Um, it looks like Milan is now the vassal of Spain. Oh, Mongols declared truce uh, with Hungary. So they're not actually... Um, Oh, they're at war anymore. Okay. Anyway, let's take our spy down. Oh yeah, they control you some ass. So here's the border. Currently outside Gaza. Right. Now, this army. But that Milan army hasn't even moved. Oh, we're allies with them. Okay. But that hasn't even moved. So that's um, very good. Next turn we'll be outside Kiev and we'll start doing that. Oh, yes, a general. Who is he actually in the grand scene? Just a family member. He's not a. Ah. 41%. He could die, but he's already 52, so he may die anytime soon. Let's go for it. Ah, he missed. Oh, his trait decreased. It's gone down to 9. Well, at least he didn't die. Got caught and killed, I suppose. Right, this is actually getting a bit better, the situation here. But yeah, we're not making near as much money as before. So we really need to capture something. In fact, 50%. Yes. Oh god, our spies are really bad. But I want to assault Stettin straight away. So I'm going to risk my spy. Oh, he got in right now. And he got in a trade increase, which is good. Um, or two. Which is actually quite good. Um, now there's a 40% chance that we can assault straight away with this army, because I'd rather fight just the general on his own rather than these armies. So, let's hope. Yes! Right. So we shall just do that for this at the end of this turn. I'll either auto-resolve or fight the battle, depending on the uh, how it is much in our favour. It should be in our favour, even though it's the faction leader. Right. Um, let's just quickly do all this stuff. 120%. Uh, again, it's not going to get its money. Oh, yeah, let's have a look. To upgrade that, it will. 9,000 florins. Ooh, that's a lot of money. A lot, a lot of money. But Kiev. Oh, paid rows. Without a doubt, get them. Increases trade, and our armies can march a bit faster. Because it takes ages to get over that territory. That's one of the largest regions on the map. Okay, let's do this then. Five to three, Jesus. I thought it'd be more. It's only one unit. I'm going to auto resolve and see what happens. And even if I lose, I'll just accept it. Oh, victory. So that's his king. Hoden's king dead. And another castle captured. Excellent. I'm going to sack it. 
because that's the most way to get florins. And the population was decreasing anyway. Oh, God. I'm sure they're going to declare war on us very soon. But that's another region under our control, which is excellent. Really, really glad we managed to do that in this episode. Even though it wasn't meant to be that army up there in Oslo that was meant to do it. And I'll build the church. And that means Poland should only have two one cities left. I don't know where their large army is. I'm a bit worried about this. Let's just quickly go up here. See, Breslau's very... So if the Holy Roman Empires do attack, not much of a garrison there. Uh, oh, no. Want the spy. That's it. So that could be our next target. Only one unit, although pretty good unit. We should be a bit better, and we're making a bit more money now, which is great. And I'll just retrain them. And hopefully, once this is sorted, we'll have a new army coming down south, and we should hopefully crush the Polish, completely wipe them off the map, and they won't be able to annoy us anymore. Okay. Right, what we're we doing... I can move him now. So not much of an army there. But I'm worried that the Mongols are going to attack. Actually, have we actually spoke to them diplomatically? I have no idea. Have we got trade rights? It looks like we haven't actually spoke to them. We can't build a diplomat from a castle. Oh, I didn't. I forgot that. Was there a jihad on? And was it Constantinople? It must be. Um, I can build a. No, that's not a diplomat. That's a priest. I guess I can build a diplomat in Kiev. Yes. Um, unless there's some around here. Let's have a look. What, if I have any diplomats. None. <laughs> uh, I'm sure I had some at one point. They must have died. So perhaps try and get an alliance with the Mongols. That might be good. But I don't know if they would accept such a thing. But um, as you know, there's not much going on there at the minute. So I will head back to Trebizond. To see if they're going to attack. I'm actually going to spend 4,000 on upgrading this to a fortress. Better defences in case the uh, Mongols do attack. Uh, just looking at the... Yeah. Still quite a large Islamic area here. I'll recruit a priest. And I shall end the turn again. Well, it's a blue face Oslo now, it's not as bad as the red face, so uh, things are slowly getting better. <laughs> I've just noticed the Polish Navy, they haven't actually got any port to go to now to retrain, so I can destroy their navy as well. Now oh, there's that large Polish army. A bit worrisome. Oh, <laughs> just speak about it, the Mongols have actually appeared. Oh, I can't. No. Oh can't actually be their allies. I'm very untrustworthy apparently. Okay. But power is supreme as is theirs. Uh, they're very poor though. I thought they'd be very rich. Maybe their armies make it expensive. I shall accept that. You have more worthy plans, then. Very, very generous. Ooh, perhaps you will accept it if I demand a thousand. Let's see if they accept that. Ooh. They're off as they're right. They're going to give us money, but we're not getting their map information, which is what I actually want. Uh, all right. Okay, 500. 500, and you've got a deal. No, we do not agree on these terms. <sighs> oh, I'll accept that for now. Let's get a bit of money. Football denounced. Oh, well, you can pause the screen and read that if you'd like to. Oh, we've got a new mission. Assassination mission. Oh, I've never had one of these. Where is our assassin? He's the prince, so he's not even the king. Our assassin is miles away. Um, we've got ten turns. He could reach that in... Yeah, 57%. As long as the, the, that prince don't move far away, I m might reach it in the 10 turns, but I don't think we have any other assassins, do we, that are good enough to take that on, really. So I'm going to have to be that one. 
So we'll just go for all these. And then the turn. Oh, my relationship with the Mongols isn't very good anymore. <sighs> anyway. Oh, God. Right. Can't fit everyone in. I want to take out the general, but that's not going to be very good. Oh. He's gone up. Was he not a good governor or something? He must have some sort of trait that means he's not good at governing, and that might be why we've had the rioting. Uh, oh dear. So, actually, there's not such a problem in Oslo as I thought. I'm actually going to merge everyone just because it's easier. And one of these got gold chevron now. Jesus, that's very good. Right. So we've got 110 percent, which is excellent. But I need to start taking some of these units out. And we're going to head south. Uh, still 110 uh, percent. What else can we take? Or take these out? Should cavalry archers? Uh, these three units. Still 110 percent. Funny enough, actually, I will build a uh, pay throws. Oh, what about the? Uh, Nah, it's not as it. The mining network isn't as fruitful as the other one. Uh, God, yeah, it's like it's still staying at 110%. Ah, now it's gone, right. I will take those units and leave that garrison there. Head south. I'll have to announce her. Get her off the map. We don't want paganism spreading. And I will actually... Oh, we can't recruit anyone else at the minute. But that should improve over time. So our general's coming down, which is excellent. Let's break this besiegement of the port. Oh, that was 50-50, actually. I was a bit worried that... Um, I've lost that. How? They got really good bows. Not really. But we can uh, retrain. Uh, I do want to... can't recruit... I'll recruit some woodsmen. While we're doing that. Right, where's our army that spend ages to getting there? Right. Now, what was I taking? I can't actually remember. Right, there's diplomats. Head south. Actually recruit a ship that can cross the sea. Because I think that Mongol di diplomat will uh, probably disappear before we can actually reach. Uh, don't need them there. Let's take... Let's take a... Uh, we'll leave them there, so that's quite a large infancy, infantry section, and we're going to join up with units here. Um, we'll get another unit of archers there. Let's just look here. We're actually... It's almost fully retrained, which is good. In fact, we'll just spend this turn retraining, because can we, get, we can get woodsmen. There's only five in that unit. Right, so it is sli slowly getting better. Let's do them. Just worried now, maybe this large Polish army will head to try and retake Stettin. Which would be annoying. Uh, let's get an Orthodox Church going. So we can't do much up here at the minute. Can't do much up here at the minute until the army comes down. Kaffa has built the mines, which is excellent, giving us uh, 110 from mining each turn. Uh, I can increase tax rates at the minute, because we, where the population is already quite high and it's all still increasing. I'm going to get the port, which should be, it will, it will boost trade over time a lot more than that. And I think that's all we can do this turn. There might be some building, actually. Yeah, let's... Uh, Build a church there. Ah, Novgorod. Okay, in I will upgrade it. It's going to be bloody expensive, but uh, it's worth it, I suppose. Their walls are going to expand next turn. Helsinki. I'll build. Actually, town hall there. And I think I will leave the episode there. So, not too bad an episode. We captured another castle. But hopefully, in the next episode... We'll be taking, I'm going to try and target uh, Bucharest here. It's a large city, it will give us a lot of money, has a port. I can't see uh, 
any sort of decent. Let's move this spy down. But no Hungarian massive armies anymore. So I think <coughs> the Hungarians are spent, really. Um, they do have land down here as well, which we can take in time. But I don't expect too much of a struggle from them and the Polish as well, apart from that large army. Uh, finished, I think. Um, so I'm sure we'll have new enemies very soon. So thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next time.